Hey everyone, it's Kendall. Hi, I'm Iroro, and we are going to talk to you about the last two holy people that are on their way to sainthood. Today we're going to talk about servant of God, Julia Greeley. Julia was born into slavery in Hannibal, Missouri. At the age of five, her eye was injured when a slave master was whooping her mother. The lash caught back and hit Julia in the eye. She carried this disfigurement with her for the rest of her life. In 1865, Greeley was freed during the Civil War under the Emancipation Proclamation. She moved west and became a cook and nanny to Julia and William Gilpin. William was appointed the first territorial governor of Colorado by Abraham Lincoln. Upon becoming governor, the Gilpins and Julia moved to Denver. Julia was baptized into the Catholic Church in 1880 at Sacred Heart Church in Denver. She was devoted to the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and the Holy Eucharist. It was said that she fasted each day until noon, telling the priest, my communion is my breakfast. Every month she visited every fire station in Denver and delivered literature about the Sacred Heart to firemen, Catholics, and non-Catholics alike. She became known for her charitable works, pulling a red wagon through the streets of Denver at night to bring food, coal, and clothing to families in need. Julia would also pray while working and moving about. She joined the Secular Franciscan Order in 1901 and was active until her death in 1918. In recognition of her service to the poor, Julia was dubbed Denver's Angel of Charity. In January 2014, the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Denver officially opened an investigation into her sainthood. Thanks for tuning in and taking a minute with the saints. I'm Kendall. And I'm Iroro. If you would like to find out more information about these holy people, please check out the links below and any details in the captions. Thank you so much for tuning in and God bless you. God bless.